fill the tanks and then it goes away to waste. So it's a single pass system. The unit behind you, the research system, there's nothing in it, there's no point going in. That's on a research system. So the water goes through the tank, then it's filtered, and then it returns to the tanks. So it's on a constant recirculation. So in a system like that, you can control the temperature of the water, and you can control the day length. So if you want it... Uh, 100% pure DNA tested. Absolutely beautiful. If I to pick a fish to be my favourite, I think I'd probably choose these ones. <laughs> they a bit dark because they've been in a dark tank, so they will change their uh, change their colour for their camouflage. They're quite declining species, aren't they? They are very, they're very yeah. much under, very much under threat. I mean, over the past three to four years, we've we've stopped probably 300 waters across the country um, with discrete, discrete waters across the country with uh, a number of fish. And these these guys are absolutely... What's the criteria for selecting the waters for restocking? They have to have no carp in them. They have to have no pike in them. No point stocking fruit if they're going to get eaten. Do, do people apply to you for restocking or do you... You need to talk, you need to, talk to your local fishery officer. Yeah. Um, and then they will they will apply on the National Solution Conservation Project list. And eventually the list will make its way to me. And then we'll look at what we've got available. And they are absolutely amazing. What's the process of quality control before they go out to certain parts of the country? As in any disease or any they're, if, they're, if they come from here they will be disease free but every fish every a random check do you do on they have to be health check yeah. same as any other same as any other supplier so 30 fish or a sample of 10 fish from each species so there would actually be a 80 fish sample from across the farm yeah. across the outdoor ponds it would have to be uh, sent off the National Laboratory at Brampton to be health checked before they can be stocked out into the wild. Yeah. And that's, a, that's just a standard health yeah, check. Yeah. How old is that fish? That fish is, it's just had its second birthday. Oh, right. So that's two years old. Let me try and find the one that I can say. Never seen it look. If you look, you can see how the lateral line doesn't complete. See how the lateral line of the fish mm. comes oh, down and then yeah. it kind of stops. Right. Look, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't actually complete. Yeah, it will do, it? And so, it does when they're a particular age. No, no, that's one. Of, that's one of the things in the crucian carp. It's not a guarantee. If you look at a crucian carp, it doesn't, it doesn't go all the way. If you look at most fish. Yeah. The lateral line comes all the way along oh. the body, that right down. Mm. And the lateral line on a crucian carp. Mm -hmm. Generally, and it's not, as I say, it's not 100%, not one of the ways you can guarantee it's a true. Mm. The lateral line comes along and it doesn't carry on all the way down no. to the tail. It stops. It's not possible, as you say, to the sex of these fish. Ten degrees, a little bit difficult. Mm. But, oh, I don't know, what the day length being it is, that's a male lot. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, then oh there's no way near that big. There is not. That's normal. You don't want to play ball? There you go, there's one. Now old that one, two or three. So this one is two years old. So we've just stocked a few more of these out to go on for an extra summer. So some of these... How come he hasn't got the ball? Oh he has. He has. He's got them. Yeah. Ah, those tucked up. Yeah, they're just laying down. So we've stocked a few more of these out for Rowley and District for the marking project. 
Yeah. So when these when these come back in again, yeah. shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've gonna give you these. <laughs> we socked a few out for rounding this week. I'm gonna put him back because I want to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, we want to look look we after our fish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there might be a few of them socked out for rounding this week. And. Uh, They'll come in a little bit bigger than that, as you imagine them another summer, so they'll be coming in at this sort of size again. We want some big enough to train them to so. fight the otters off. <laughs> you know, if we had the space, we'd love to do it. We'd love to grow fish for an extra summer. So we'd love to grow fish rather than being 18 months old or what we would call one plus, we'd love to grow them to be two plus. We don't have the space. Because no. every time, you know, if you imagine you stock 30,000 larvae out into a pond this size, if you then were to stop that pond at the back there, put 10,000 fish in there, eight, you know, to grow them to 18 months old. If you were to grow them, if you were to stop that size pond again, you'd be stocking 2,000 fish in it yeah. to grow them on for another summer. Yeah. So the reduction is massive, you yeah. know. And if you were to grow them on for another summer to make them three plus. Yeah. You'd be putting like 500 fish in there. You should have massive, fish in there. Massive you need a massive, 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 massive yeah, yeah. site. Yeah, yeah. We just don't. We just don't have the, the site. The site to do it, and no. it hurts us sometimes because we know that we could grow such amazing fish for everybody. We just don't have the site to do it. No. Don't get us wrong. You know, when we turn up with these fish, everybody <laughs> sees them. And we love it more than anybody else because it's. Our hard work of 18 months or, yeah. or you know, 24 months that we turn up with and give to you for nothing. There we go, buy and rubbers, catch some fish. And everybody's like, oh, look at that. And they're our, they're our, you know, our babies and our hard work. And there's a lot that it takes to, us to get to this point or to another point. We just love it, but we just don't have the. No. Well, you want to double the license money then and double your money? Yeah, yeah that's going to go down well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Three. How old are these, Rich? How, how many weeks old are these? Oh, they are probably... <laughs> about... Three weeks old? Three weeks old? Yeah, three, four weeks old, something like that. And these are three weeks as well, or...? No, they, so we spawned those Easter weekend. Oh, right. We do. Then they would have been in 17 odd days before they swam up. Yep. Sure. <coughs> so if you stop these, what would the survival rate be out per thousand or whatever? In our ponds? In the wild. In our ponds or in the wild? In the wild. You put these into a river, you put a thousand in how many survive? At this size? 50. 1%? I can't, I can't tell you. I honestly can't tell you. It's, it's so difficult to say. Yeah. How could I monitor it? You couldn't really. They, they well, you, I need a few years time to there's against so many factors altering the... Uh... Then once they've got the hang of it and they tackle these guys, they'll rip a leg off and they'll crunch it a bit. And once they've got the hang of it, they'll chase these down and they nail these guys, no problem whatsoever. And that 300 grade is just kind of a key to getting them on the feed. Yeah. And so is the green water, single cell protozoa, things like that. Just a bit of something in the gut to get them get them working. If you try and feed them this from the off, they don't, they don't do it. We're inside one of the polytunnels. And we've just been some of the, seeing some of the small fish have been grown on very warm in here the water's constantly moving rich is talking us through the the whole process today very interesting